Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ron West, and today I'm going to show you how to SSH your iPhone using the program CyberDuck. Uh, that means uh, giving you direct access to your iPhone. Uh, all the files, all the folders, changing wallpapers, adding wallpapers, uh, screensavers, ringtones, etc., you name it. Uh, CyberDuck allows you to do that. So anyways, let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download CyberDuck and this is what the CyberDuck page looks like. I will include the links in the description. Once you download CyberDuck, uh, add it to whatever uh, folder, applications, blah blah blah. But once you open it, you're going to open it. It's going to prompt you, well you're going to need to do this. It'll automatically be on FTP, but you need to switch it to SFTP. Alright. Once you do that, you're going to need your server, your at, your IP address. Okay. Um, so you're going to need your trusty iPhone. And I'm not sure the video quality for this is good, so I apologize. But go to your settings in your iPhone. Once you got your settings, you go to your Wi-Fi connection, right? Once you get to your Wi-Fi connection, whatever you're connected to, hit the little arrow beside your connection, and there is your IP address. You may not be able to see it, but it's the first one, IP address. Remember your IP address, okay? So now, let's go back to CyberDuck. Right here is where you put your IP address right up top right then you come down to your user name and its root R O O T your password is Alpine A L P I N E okay oh and last but not least uh, make sure your iPhone is connected while you're doing this if you want this to be a successful transfer of files so I'm already in so I'm going to bypass this okay once you're in okay this is what I did I'm going to go to my user folder And in my user folder, I have a media file. I'm going to scroll down to, uh, right now I'm using video wallpaper. And this is the file, the folder, to get into the video wallpaper, which is called Screw. And of course, you'll see, okay, videos. Here we go. Here are the videos. All right, so you you're in. You scroll over and hit this once to you or twice till you see your user folder. Once you hit your user folder, now this depends on wherever you're keeping your video files, your uh, video screensavers. I'm keeping all of them in my video wallpaper folder basically and as you can see the extension is mp4 okay mp4 um, I've made my own like I've clicked I've added my own personal uh, videos that I've downloaded most of the time I use LimeWire and when you use LimeWire and you add the video to iTunes it converts it to mp4 which allows you to add mp4s to your video files. Um, I, ha I do have one Fast and Furious. It's an MOV file. It seems to work. I've tried another one and it didn't work so well, but mainly your mp4. Okay. So anyways, uh, let's just add one. We'll, we'll add one. Let me see. Uh, here's an mp4. What is this? I don't know. 
once it's open, I'm just I'm just going to add a file. So I'm dragging, I'm dropping a file in the SSH. I'm not sure if it's in there. Once it's in there, you'll see it's adding. Actually, it's the way he made me feel by MJ. And oh, by the way, ha uh, happy birthday, Michael Jackson. We love you, we miss you, and we thank you for the magic that you brought. Rest in peace. Anyways, uh, it's taken a minute to download, but once it's in, uh, all you do is, well, I'll show you the others that I have. Uh, matter of fact, I have added my favorite video, the Motown 25, when he does Billy Jean. As you can see, I've already added it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but anyways, once it's once you added your file, you drag and drop your file to the SSH folder that you want. You can go to your trusty iPhone. I've already added the so I'm just gonna skip. You can get out of here. And as you can see, but let me show you what I did. I have my iPhone kind of set up differently. I'm using categories, and that's another video. I have all my applications kind of categorized. So, anyways, that's video wallpaper. It's video wallpaper and ringtones, which, of course, you know, if somebody calls, video plays, or for your wallpaper, instead of just having a basic wallpaper, you can have a video wallpaper. Okay, once it comes up, uh, alright, I'm going to go to enable select video. And these are all my videos. I'm not sure if you can see them clearly, but I've already added one, so I'm not going to add one. But if you did want to add one, let's say, for example, Mm, let's pick Big Buck. What it does is it gives you a little preview. Yes, you want it, or no, you don't. I'm going to click no, because I already have one. So anyways, I'm going to go out of here. This is the one that I've added. It's uh, Jackson's at Motown 25, and he does go to Jr. Pretty much my favorite video of all time. But as you can see, uh, this is my wallpaper. It's a moving wallpaper, video wallpaper. You can see there's my application, the one that I chose to leave on the, uh, the top. Yeah. I will say, once you do click something, let's say weather, uh, of course your weather will come up. I got this Final Fantasy weather. It comes up, but once you get back out, you know, your video, it just uh, it starts over. And you go out and go back in. It starts over, basically. And will it eat your battery time? Probably. But it's not like you're going to sit and watch it over and over and over. So I usually have my uh, sleep kind of on the two to three you know, after I'm in it. And it's just sitting and it's doing nothing, it'll go to sleep. So that helps you to save battery time. So I'm not sure if any of this made any sense, but I will include the CyberDuck link in the description. Um, basically, uh, to add video wallpapers, you can use the format MP4. Um, I haven't had any trouble with links, uh, well, as far as the length of the videos from one minute to two minutes to three minutes to nine minutes, um, I haven't had any trouble, so, anyways, you all have a good day. This is Ron West. Uh, you can also catch me at showcaseyourmusic.com. I will leave that link in the description, too. Until then, peace, love, and God bless. You have a good day. Bye.